Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for being here. My name is Julie Giordano. I am your county executive and uh, so excited to be here tonight at our Capital Improvement Plan public meeting. Uh, thank you to everyone here in the audience and thank you to those who are watching live at home and thank you to those who will watch it a little bit later on. We're always so excited and very thankful to have uh, such a great group of individuals who are very interested in the things that we do here in the county. So thank you all uh, for being here or watching. Um, joining me up here uh, is Pam Oland, our Director of Finance. And in just a few moments, I'm gonna turn this presentation over to her. Um, but in preparation for tonight's meeting, we were able to meet with multiple department heads. And it's always so great to hear and see their vision of what they want for their department and how they view uh, that department and what that's gonna look like for Wacomico County. So very grateful for those meetings as well. Some of them are joining us here tonight. So thank you again for everything you do for Wacomico County. Uh, and we uh, look forward to uh, hearing about all of the great things that you wanna do. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Pam. Uh, so go ahead, thanks Pam. So uh, as I start every time with the CIP, um, it, CIP means Capital Improvement Plan. Uh, a capital project is actually defined by our county charter, and it shall mean a building or purchase of a physical uh, betterment or improvement, the acquisition of property, and the purchase of equipment for the betterment or improvement uh, also. So typically, Capital improvement in our definition is stuff that has a significant dollar amount and uh, requires uh, funding from one or more sources. And the uh, capital improvement um, process started, oh, uh, for the Board of Education started even before our time, but uh, about uh, six weeks ago, we reached out to our different department heads and asked them to uh, look at what they needed over the next five years. They submitted all of those requests to the uh, county uh, executive. We then met with pretty much every department that submitted a request. And then we also are re uh, required to hold a public input session, which that is tonight. By charter, the executive must submit the uh, CIP to the council in, by the third Tuesday in December. The council then typically approves the, uh, the plan in February. This plan then helps the executive craft the first year of the, uh, we use the first year's numbers to help craft the next year's budget. And then in June, the council will adopt the budget, which also will adopt the capital funding for the next fiscal year. <clears throat> also by uh, county policy, we set a uh, principal and interest debt service limit. We are not, um, we will not exceed 12% of our total general fund revenue in any given year. So fiscal 24, our budgeted revenue was $193 million and our P&I payments were just uh, south of $14.5 million, which resulted in a 7.47%, well below our required 12% or maximum 12%. This next page is very tiny, <laughs> but this is what was requested by the departments. This doesn't mean this is what will be submitted to the county council in December. Based on this meeting and additional meetings we will have with the departments and the executive's office, we will make determinations as to whether or not the funding structure for 25 and the future years um, is sustainable. And thus, this right now is the current request. Uh, between the general fund and all of our enterprise funds, we're looking at about $40.4 million of requests. And of that, we're looking at about $12 million that would be funded with bonds and $12 million that would be funded by PAYGO. The other di um, differences between the 24 and the 40 is different uh, funding mechanisms like state grant, federal grant, um, some other uh, grant funding that isn't state and federal as well. Um, we then, we also had a meeting with the Board of Education. This is a very truncated, it's very, also a very tiny uh, list of, we typically only show one year of the Board of Education unless we have already agreed to a multi-year project. So in previous years, you will have seen Mardella be 
listed for multiple years because we, we had agreed to fund Mardella and continue that funding till it ended. Um, right now, we're not um, looking at any multi-year projects for funding for fiscal 25. We're looking at some renovations at both Fruitland Intermediate and Westside Intermediate for their HVACs. And so um, there, if you go onto the Board of Education website, they have a much more extensive list of requests. And at the moment, those are, um, these are the two top priorities that uh, we're looking at funding. Could this change between now and December? Yes, but this is the main list that we're looking at. So with that, that is our presentation. And now we open it up to the floor. If anyone has any questions, please come to the podium. Um, you can have questions or comments. Uh, we're looking for public input as to uh, what you view as the required uh, capital funding for the next five years. Brian. <laughs> Good evening, I'm Brian Reger, Chief Finance and Operations, Operations Officer for Wicomico County Public Schools. And I'd say first, I just appreciate the work you're doing. This is really difficult work. There's a lot of great projects out there from all the various departments as well as the Board of Ed. And it's tough making those priorities and trimming that list down. We appreciate the work you're doing. As a school system, we appreciate the county support that's been ongoing and the consideration of, prior of the prioritized list of projects in our capital improvement plan. Our first priority is the replacement of Fruitland Primary School, and we thank the county for its support with PAYGO funding and FY24, and look forward to receiving additional funding in the future to proceed into construction documents and pre-construction phasing. We're currently in the process of completing design development documents and hiring a construction manager, and our request will allow us to complete the design, bid, and initiate construction, depending on future construction uh, funding allotments from the state as well. It is important for the public to know that our capital funding uh, we do request from the county, but we also get a large portion uh, from the state as well. So that's it's a good interplay between the county and the state. Priority items two, three, and four are systemic HVAC renovation projects at three schools, Fruitland Intermediate, Westside Intermediate, and Salisbury Middle. And all three have HVAC systems that are at or very close to end of useful life. And priority five is a request to initiate a feasibility study an education specification to, in, to address facility condition issues at, uh, and program deficiencies at Wicomico Middle School. Constructed in 1931, Y Middle is the oldest school in our inventory that's currently in use. And although it's received some systemic uh, updates throughout the years, a holistic solution is needed to address the overall facility condition index of, 50, uh, of 51 as prioritized in our educational facilities master plan. Can thank you for this hard work. We appreciate the consideration. Thank you for being here. We know there's a Board of Education meeting tonight, so thank you for making it as well. Any other comments? I... Hearing none, again, thank you very much for attending this evening. Um, this will be posted on the county website under finance and it'll be under the capital improvement plans. Um, copies will also be available in the government office building um, if you wanna grab one on your way out if you didn't already get one. And as I said, the next step is, is the executive will be submitting her plan to the county council on the third Tuesday of December. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. Have a great evening.